Hey guys, Paragon here, and this is our strategy guide for the Oryx encounter of the King's Four Raid. So this encounter has quite a few different mechanics and a few curveballs that you really need to make sure that your team's communication and teamwork is on point, ready to go. So to start with, we're going to designate one person as the relic holder. This time through, it's myself, so I will be carrying the relic and I will be calling most of the shots for the raid. This is going to make it very, very simple for people to know where to go, what to do, when to do it. So to start the encounter, you basically have to walk up past that first pillar, and then it starts. So first up, we're going to have a couple of trash mobs that we have to clear really, really easy. Once we've cleared those, Oryx is going to pick a platform to hit. As you can see, this is the same room that we had for the sisters' encounter. So we set up with the same people on the same platforms to make it really, really easy. So they're on the same platform. We have the cliff left, the door left, door right, and cliff right. We have the same setup as before. We still have one person dealing with ads. That one person will then help with ogres as well. So now Oryx has gone to the left. He's now slamming on our cliff left platform. Make sure that you allow the relic holder to jump on the platform first. This is super important because that person will get taken and have to do the jump puzzle. So make sure, as you can see, once I jump up here, now I'm taken. We activate our glyph sequence correctly. We're jumping through, I'm going through the jump puzzle now. So as I'm doing this jump puzzle, ogres are spawning on each plate as they've activated it and I've gone through that part of the jump puzzle. So cliff left would have had the first ogre and Matt was helping Archer with that. They then help the next one and the next one. Once I grab brand claimer, I can now jump down here, watch the ship. The guys that are on the sides, you'll be taking a lot of damage here. I now slam that knight and I get Brand of Immortality. This is a super, super important mechanic for later on in the fight. So now we clear out any ads that are nearby. Oryx will slam the platform again and be ready to cast another ability. What we've done to counter this is we have our Celestial Nighthawk Golden Guns ready to do some massive hurts. You need to damage him enough to stagger him. Once in this phase, keep damaging him while the four people from their platforms go and detonate the Orbs of Darkness. They must detonate these for maximum damage. So as you can see, we've got all four detonated. Everyone's running back in, getting back inside the bubble and back to damaging. If you are not back in the bubble in time, you will die. And uh, it's a huge DPS loss if anyone goes down. So as you can see, big damage straight up. This second phase of the fight, Oryx is basically going to be throwing mines around. So each four player that had a pillar, you guys will run around your pillars. The relic holder and whoever was roaming for ads, you guys just need to find somewhere safe and make sure you don't cross over the lines. So as you can see, running in circles, super effective here. Make sure your circle is not so small that you get hit from a previous blast, but make sure it's not big enough that you're overlapping in other people's circuits. Otherwise, you're just going to have a hard time because these mines do a lot of damage. So once we've finished this phase, we basically get back to the same phase as before. Oryx will slam a plate. I will go through the jump puzzle again. We have the jump sequence again. So he's finished. He's going to pick a plate on the left side. So don't be tricked. Sometimes he will go to the back one from here. As you can see, he wasn't really too happy with me waving at him there. So he's going to slam on this back plate. The glyph sequence will now be slightly different, but counterclockwise, just like it was in the sisters fight. So we make sure that the relic holder goes up first. Bomber now jumps up to hold the plate for me and I go through the jump puzzle. The sequence is correct, we're getting the orbs and the other guys are taking care of the ogres. So those ogres can be a bit of a pain in the butt, but make sure you try to kill them as quickly as possible. Wherever they die, that is where the darkness orb will spawn. So take note of that, wherever the ogre dies, that's where the orb will be. So I've got the brand, I'm telling the guys to jump off the platform if they need to, and now slamming the knight, taking the buff and killing the knight as quickly as I can. Once we're back to the middle, we rinse and repeat. We activate our orbs after we've staggered Oryx, but we found two Celestial Nighthawk Golden Guns on this was super, super handy. We found it only took one and everyone else's DPS to do enough damage to actually stagger him, but having the second one just in case someone missed or someone didn't have their super was really, really helpful for us and made it a lot easier. So now we've staggered Oryx again and we continue damaging. Make sure you get as much damage out as you can while you're activating those orbs. The guys that are detonating the Corrupted Light are going to be able to run back, get into the safety of the brand and fire more DPS. As you can see, we've done a ton of damage in two runs already. So now what's happened, Oryx is under 50% health. 
So instead of spawning the mines in that phase like he did, he's now going to spawn something else, and this is going to be the Darkness Realm. So now that he spawns the Darkness Realm, the mechanic is slightly different. People will periodically get taken into the Darkness Realm. As you can see, now I'm in the Darkness Realm, and your job is to destroy the Shade of Oryx as fast as possible. What's happening on the outside is there's Thrall that are spawning on the left and the right. The people on the outside need to kill them as quickly as possible, because when they enter the Darkness Realm, they can actually attack us and will stay in there. If you take any damage inside here, you will not heal. If you die in here, you will not be able to get respawned either. So make sure you're really cautious of that. As you can see, I'm at critical health, so if I take another hit, I'm in trouble. But this is another DPS race. We need to drop the Shade of Oryx quick enough before everyone gets put into the dimension, and we wipe. So Doxology will be cast, the same ability that Oryx cast earlier, and it will take us all out. As you can see, we just got it then, super close. So now we go back to phase one. So again, back to the phase, Oryx is going to slam. I'm getting ready to go through the jump puzzle. What you'll see on this one though is we do stuff up and we don't detonate all of the orbs. So what happens is we don't really get out the damage that we need to to push Oryx down even lower and it just makes the fight take a little bit longer. So this fight is very, very much dependent on making sure you nail each of the mechanics consistently. So you have to make sure each time we're going through that the jump puzzle is correct, we're killing the ogres, we're getting the brand, killing the knight, and then everyone collapses, staggers Oryx, from the stagger, we need to detonate the orbs and come back. So if we're messing up anything, as you can see, that's a lot of a lot of mechanics to manage. So communication is super important. Having one person calling the shots like I was in here makes it very, very, very simple. So we're getting ready to stagger Oryx again. doing as much DPS as possible. And you'll see this time we do miss one of those orbs and uh, we do not end up getting the damage that we needed. You can see our Panic Golden Gun there, such a pro move, and I uh, just decided to use it on the weakest enemy on the map. Pro Hunter right there for you, but setting up again. What I'm going to do here, you'll notice, is I use my radar to check where people are and try to do my best to move back and help people out. So people that are coming back to get in that aura, if I can see four people already on me and two on that door side that are struggling, I try to move closer to them. As you can see, we're unsuccessful there. And uh, now we're going back into the darkness realm again. So by now we should have had enough damage to get him down to at least 10% or hopefully even have gotten him to the kill. But because we missed those orbs, we weren't able to. So darkness realm is setting up again. We're gonna clean up with these respawns and head back in. Again, this is a DPS race when you're in the Darkness Realm. So guys that are inside, make sure that you're really, really conscious of where Oryx is spawning, where his shade is spawning. So now there's two of us inside. Truth is just incredible for this section. Easy to shoot, easy to land those hits, and no walls for me to mess up my shots on. But working through here, again, as you see, the thralls that are coming in doing that damage, it's going to make it really hard. A good spot to stand in here is in the middle. As you can see, when Oryx comes in, goes for that sword slam. If you're near the edge, you're going to have a really hard time dodging that. So make sure you make it as easy for yourself as possible and uh, be ready there. So the two Nighthawk Golden Guns gives us a really good opportunity to either burn him here. As you can see, I'm popping mine now because we need to get him down. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Doxology just about to be cast, so we got that just in time. So setting up again, we are back to phase one, doing the jump puzzle, Ogre's mechanic again. What's gonna happen, guys, you'll see a nice little fun mechanic at the end that Bungie has thrown in, which definitely has uh, puts a good spin on the end of the fight. So guys, I'm gonna let you watch the rest of this video, and uh, we'll catch you at the end.
And there you have it, guys. Oryx is down. Thank you very much for watching, and make sure you tune in for more Destiny guides, tips, and tricks.